All right, so I'm going to show you um, how to fix um, the installation path of your Native Instruments machine kit or instrument. Um, it took me a while to figure this out, so I really hope this helps. I'm sure you're going to run into this issue at some point, so here it is. I do have Mac, so I am teaching Mac users this. So first of all, you want to make sure you go to Preferences. When you go to Preferences, you want to make sure your file locations are routed to where you want to send them. I have mine routed to my external, and I have my content location routed to my external. This is the most important, but make sure you content location just in case, okay? So you want to save. So here I have a few kits that are not um, on my hard drive. They are on my laptop and they take up space. See how the has got, this is like three gigabytes. So you can see the installation path is on my Mac. I don't want that, okay? And also chromatic fire is too. See installation path, it doesn't say um, to my passport, which is the name of my hard drive. So the way I fix that is I go to the installation path where it says Chromatic Fire and Helico Sky is located. It says user shared Chromatic Fire. So I go to Finder and then I type in shared and then I type in this Mac or push this Mac. Okay, and then here's the folder where it says shared. So I'm going to go to Chromatic Fire and I'm going to just move it to the trash. And then I'm going to go to the Helico Sky and I'm going to move that to the trash. Now I'm going to make sure that I empty out the trash. Okay. So now I am going to click refresh and it's going to say repair. It should say repair. All right, so you see it says repair. Repair. So you're wondering like, why is it saying repair when I clearly just deleted them? Well, here's why. You have to delete the PST file, which is still saved in a file on your computer. Um, I'm not an IT person, so I can just really show you better than I can explain it. All right, so the way we fix this is we go and we delete everything from these folders off of our laptop. So I'm going to go to Finder, and I'm going to go to my hard drive. So the way I do that is I go to Go, I go to Computer, and I go to Macintosh HD. Now yours is going to pull up like this. I already opened mine earlier today, um, but you want to click this down. You're going to go to Preferences. And then I'm just going to widen my screen so you can see it's in my Preference folder. So you're going to find Chromatic Fire, which is here. It's the PLIST file. Excuse me, I don't know what I said, the PST file. PLIST file. You're going to go here. You're going to go to Move as to Trash. And then we're going to go to Helicon Sky which you see in the corner. I'm going to go move that to trash. All right, so then we're going to exit out of here. We're going to go to our trash, and we're going to empty trash. And then we're going to go to not installed, and I'm going to push. All right, now you can see that our chromatic fire is now uninstalled from our installed products. So let me see here. All right, so then we're gonna go back just to make sure because I am a stickler. I like to make sure to do it right. So our file location is right, download location, save it. And then you wanna install. And they're gonna to install to your hard drive or to wherever you wanna put this, these um, sounds on. So and I'm going to install Retro Machines. This is great because now I have more space on my Mac. Even though I don't have a lot of space, but whatever. You see, now I'm almost like 20 gigs free. That's because these were taking up so much space. 
so you just go and download so I did this one earlier so I'll show you this now says the um it's in my admin book so you see scoring guitars now I'm gonna come right here and it's gonna say right here it's my external hard drive all right and then you want to just make sure all of your products are saved passport things that take up a lot of space you want to make sure Okay, so now pictures. I gotta make sure I change this because this is taking up a lot of gigs. So these are all installed. Okay, so now you see it says it's installed. And if we go to our installed products, we go to Formatifier, we'll see it in our installed products. And then we'll see the installation path. And boom, it's where you want to move it. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you.